Our bodies send us signals every day, but are you listening? Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is here now to reveal the top three things everyone needs to know about cancer. Such an important topic. Absolutely an important topic because every year, one and a half million Americans are diagnosed with cancer. But here's the good news. With advances in treatments, in early detection and diagnosis, we're increasing the likelihood of survival. And survival is the name of the game. So the first thing everyone needs to pay attention to, the warning signs. And believe me, they can range all over the map from just fatigue, maybe a lump in your breast, trouble swallowing. Of course, there are so many more because cancers can cause very general symptoms. You would think would be unrelated to cancer. Fever, unexpected weight loss. So cancer, think about it, it's a group of diseases, it can cause almost any symptom. That's exactly right, and that's why you should know the warning signs, but you should also know your body. And any sign of changes or troubles, you should have it checked out by your doctor. It's also the reason that you should schedule regular checkups and screenings, because some cancers mimic other diseases, and some cancers show up with no warning signs at all. It's a very good point. Warning signs or symptoms, they'll depend, of course, on where the cancer is. Is it contained? Has it spread, metastasized? How much of it is affecting the surrounding organs or your tissues? So that's important, warning signs. Let's move on to number two. What's the second thing people need to know about cancer? Number two is get an accurate diagnosis. Now, with advances in diagnostic testing, we know much more now about cancers and its treatment. So cancers differ genetically from one another we can now actually look at the genetic makeup of cancers using special testing called molecular testing. This tells us the difference between one type of cancer, one type of breast cancer, for example, from another type of breast cancer. And why is that important? That's important because one type of breast cancer may respond to a certain type of treatment. And targeting the genetic or biological makeup of the cancer can offer you the best chance to fight it. Your doctor may suggest things like biopsies to determine a particular treatment regimen. So that's all very important. Let's move on. The third thing everyone needs to know about cancer is... Understand your range of treatment options. Now, doctors have used treatments for cancer for years. Surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, other prescription medicines, or a combination of these things. But we didn't always understand how these treatments worked in people. We now really understand these treatments and how they work down to the cellular level. This allows, this additional information allows doctors to do more personalized treatment for your unique cancer type. Now cancer encompasses many different tumor types and diseases as we've mentioned. Some drugs are successful by blocking molecules in the body involved in the growth and spread of the cancer. But before a person is prescribed one of these drugs, they of course need to have tests to see if the drug is likely to work on their particular type of tumor. Talk to your doctor about treatment options, and always you have to talk about side effects as well. Absolutely. Now, hearing a diagnosis for you or a family member of cancer is very difficult. There's a lot of information to take in, and there are a lot of decisions to make. Your doctor can help you navigate all of those things. But to get you started with some information, you can visit healthierworld.net. And you can also get more information about cancer warning signs, diagnosis, and treatments at thedoctorstv.com. Dr. Lewis Hall, as always, a pleasure. A Thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you so much. And still ahead, the health secrets that your mouth can reveal. We'll be right back.